Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I'm back to post another video here really quick. Uh, the one I kind of mentioned yesterday on my last box set video. This is going to be a really quick, um, you know, just kind of a couple of new things, but mainly just kind of what I've been spending, that type of thing. Uh, I think I mentioned on the video yesterday, I'm just not really buying a lot right now. The other things I'm kind of taking care of. Um, so this just kind of keeping in touch with you guys and just kind of sharing what's been going on in my world musically. Uh, first of all, playing in the background, there's been a lot of 80s themed videos floating around lately, which of course makes me dive back into my 80s collection. And so one of the things that I, or what's playing right now, is this Vanity, Vanity 6 I should say. You guys remember that? say that remember that from the 80s but that's what's playing in the background but uh, let me just kind of dive into just let's say a couple different things here first one new piece here which is definitely one that I was so happy was released on vinyl uh, literally it's kind of a grail for me um, not a grail again in terms of value or anything like that it's nothing of a grail in that regard but I remember somebody I can't remember how long ago it was, but somebody asked me about five records I wish were released on vinyl, uh, and this was actually one of the ones that I picked, and then one day I was messing around eBay and saw it's been pressed and released. And so it's this one right here, which is Running Wild by Airborne. Love it, love it, love it. I've not, I mean, I've loved this record for so long, and I could not believe that they actually pressed it on vinyl. And when I first saw it, I thought maybe someone on eBay had typed it in wrong or something, but then I saw there was like 15 or 20 others, and I was like, yes. But uh, very nice 180 gram vinyl. And this album, for those of you maybe that are not familiar with Airborne, if you are an ACDC fan, then you are automatically an Airborne fan. Um, I mean, one of kind of my laughing jokes, if you will, about Airborne is that, like, literally, ACDC could sue Airborne for copyright infringements on songs that ACDC hasn't even written yet. Because, I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm being silly, but that's just, I'm just exaggerating just how much ACDC is just all throughout this album. I mean, literally, you could take this off of there and slap ACDC on the front. And a vast majority of people would not, at least, you know, not for a while, not even figure out or understand that it's not ACDC. It's just, uh, that's just that pure, straightforward rhythm, just right in your face, sweaty, hard rock and roll. I mean, just as straightforward as rock gets. No stupid frills or anything of that nature. I mean, just like ACDC. So yeah, great, great album. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check them out. Uh, and let me show some of the new CDs I picked up too, because there's only a couple of them here, so I'll just kind of go through these really quick. Number one, this one here, which is Pat Benatar. Got a copy of Tropica, which was nice. I think now I only need Go and uh, Live from Earth to complete my Pat Benatar CD collection. So it's nice to kind of almost be there. I'll show these two together. And these two complete my Diana Krall collection on CD. That's Ragdoll, which I did have on vinyl, but nice to get on CD. I think I won that for like $250. And then Diana Krall Greatest Hits, which I don't really consider part of her discography, but I just really felt like unless I got this one as well, I wouldn't have her, her complete collection on CD. So I kind of include it. But yeah, that kind of completes my Diana Krall collection. And I'll probably do a video sometime in the near future here just kind of showing showing all those CDs. Testament. Return to the Apocalypse. And this is like a six track, uh, I guess Public City, uh, like a six track live. But so another piece added to my Testament collection. And I just started on my Joan Jett collection here too. I have almost all of her stuff on vinyl with the exception of a few which I'm not even sure are on vinyl or not, but uh, I just started my Joan Jett CD collection. So this is Bad Reputation. 
towards the classic initial release and then up your alley and last but not least center so those are my first three Joan Jet CDs so definitely looking forward to building that collection and if any of you out there if you have any other Joan Jet CDs besides those three looking to trade sell anything of that nature shoot me a PM let me know all right now back to just some of the vinyl and stuff that I've been spinning do it like this hadn't pulled this one out in quite some time it's the Pixies probably low mode really really good stuff here too uh, a lot of 50s and 60s popish rock feel that I always kind of get a feeling it's underlying in a lot of the music on this this album which makes it kind of cool to me but uh yeah that's the Pixies and again being in that little 80s zone I was in the other day had strong little go-go's this course is talk show you know a lot of great stuff on here um, head over heels and you know just just I mean go goes one more you know my girls love the 80s and this is an album I've actually had for almost four four and a half years and finally opened it just a week ago or so um, but it's Sarah McLaughlin surfacing it's a really nice record I got for Christmas a while ago on classic records and uh, just didn't want to open it, you know, it's just a really, really nice piece and I finally broke down and pulled it out. So praying that it wasn't warped or anything, so if I had opened it after four years and it was warped, I would have been really ticked off. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of hers, but I am a huge fan of this particular album. And of course songs like Building a Mystery and Sweet Surrender and a number of other things are really, really good. So this is definitely my favorite album by her. I said a, a really nice classic album pressing. And last weekend, my mother was here, and I started kind of playing some jazz and stuff for her and showing her some different jazz artists. And one was R.L. Burnside, which is actually an artist my brother introduced me to about six years ago. I've been a huge fan ever since, picking up a lot of his stuff. Um, I really like his stuff, too, because R.L. was kind of an, really an old-school, down-home jazz, not jazz, down-home blues. Sorry if I said jazz earlier. Uh, down home blues kind of guy that really when he goes just straight blues he can hang right there with you know hooker waters and just all the, the blues greats but then he's also kind of a modern day artist in the sense that some of his uh, some of his records you know they weren't put out back in the 50s or 40s or you know 40s 50s or whatever so there's also some things where he has a very modern type of feel and additions to to what he does so it's really cool that you can get just down home old school blues from him and then you can also get a track where you feel you know madonna could have easily collaborated with him on that i mean it's just it's just kind of all over the place with a lot of great records out so check him out if you're not familiar for all you old mtv raps fans that were really into hip-hop back in the uh, mid to late 80s i know you remember this one which is special ed song I got it made one of my favorite tracks back then so I gave that a spin the other day and little Judas Priest Turbo I actually got inspired by this Memorial Day weekend I was driving somewhere and right outside my place here there's like this big courtyard where whenever there's some activities going on downtown they close it off and that's where they have concerts and just all kinds of stuff so I was driving somewhere the other day and I stopped at the light when I pulled right out of my drive here. And I'm sitting here and all of a sudden I'm hearing, you got another thing coming by Judas Priest. I'm like, where the heck is that coming from? So I look right over to the right and there's a stage and I'm behind the stage with the street that I'm on. And I roll down my window and I hear you got another thing coming and I see like two dudes with long hair just like, you know, head banging and rhythm up on stage. I'm like, what the hell? Whoa, I gotta go check this out. And it was really cool because it ended up being this band called Metal Studs. And it's basically just a, like a cover band. You know, they have on all the, you know, the, the metal clothes. One guy looked just like David Lee Roth. Another one looked like Nikki Six. Uh, the lead singer kind of looked like, uh, probably a little bit like Vince Neil. But they just all had on these 80s get-ups and the fake hair and everything. 
but they were just doing all these great covers you know um, like I said Judas Priest they did uh, Turn Up the Radio by Autograph I mean just a, a bunch of different po they did some stuff by Poison Death Leopard just all that 80's hair stuff so it was a really awesome concert um, so yeah I, mean, I just had to stop and go check it out for a while but it made me want to come home and throw on some Judas Priest also gave a little Cypress Hill a spin How I Could Just Kill a Man definitely my favorite song by them Another one of the artists I was sharing with my mother was Sunhouse. Man, you talk about down home blues. It almost scares me listening to this album, especially songs like uh, John the Revelator. I mean, this this dude is so deep. Like on John the Revelator, there's no music, there's no background. He's just singing and clapping to the whole song, and it's just incredible. Uh, I know. Uh, Jack White from the White Stripes. I mean, it's, he's a he almost gives Sunhouse credit for everything that he's become musically. So uh, you know, definitely make sure you, you check him out. Some more old school hip hop. Good old Sir Mix a Lot. Swass, Iron Man, My Posse's on Broadway. Man, back when hip hop was so much better than this today. Now, no comments about this album, good, bad, or otherwise. I don't want to hear any comments about the Beatles but I did get to suspend the other day meet the Beatles just hadn't put it on it quite some time and gave it a quick spin so again no Beatles comments whatsoever good or bad thank you next here a little more blues that I was spending last weekend Johnny Copeland ain't nothing but a party it's a, it's a live performance by him dude can definitely play The Soft Machine volume 2 And a little Roach. Roots, Bloody Roots by Sepultura. Awesome, awesome stuff. Not to mention, incredible album cover. Uh, also gave Mastodon a little spin. I was flipping through my metal section the other day and I saw this album and I was like, I don't remember what's on there. So I had to give it a quick spin. And of course it was great. Red vinyl. And last but not least, of Monsters and Men, My Head is an Animal, really, really cool stuff. The female in this group, well, I can't remember her name, totally brain dead, but uh, the, the female singer in this group, I absolutely love her voice. She has, she has something so, so unique and so, uh, I... I don't know. It just it, it kind of fits in with uh, kind of fits in with Joni Mitchell and Janis Joplin, and it's just kind of like this. And again, I'm not comparing of Monsters and Men's music to Joni Mitchell or or Janis Joplin, but I'm just saying her, her voice and the way that she delivers stuff. There's something so unique that she kind of has her own little space, and it's and it's quite I mean, beautiful. Really, is the word that I put to it. I love her voice. It sends chills down my spine. Especially the song uh, Mountain Sound, uh, the kind of the, not really background vocal, but the chorus vocals that she does in that. She, it's just a beautiful voice. So for those of you maybe that aren't familiar, make sure you kind of check that out. All right. But there you go, VC. Like I said, just kind of a quick, what I've been spending a few new things. Um, as always, let me know what you think, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys and gals.